Well, you were right, Dusty. You sure aren't going to get our wagons over that mountain that way. I know another way. Hey, good. Which way? That way. <laughs> but you can't get through there either. Let's just rest the horses here for a while. Well, and if you don't say another word, maybe I can get some rest too. <laughs> How'd I do that? I don't know. But get off. I can't. I don't know how to get off a horse this way. Well, get off the way you got up. Oh, yeah. Wait, wait. Hold, hold on here, young lady. No, but now wait. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Oh, it's not you. It's them. Them? Those people back there. They ran me out of town. Oh, now, why in the world would anybody want to run a pretty thing like you out of town? They say that bad things happen when I'm around. Because I'm a witch. Do you think I'm a witch? Well, of course you're not a witch. <laughs> Let's follow the path of Dusty's trail, oh, Dusty's trail, Dusty's trail. A stage and a wagon are heading west, part of a wagon train lost from the rest. Dusty's the reason for their plight, thanks to Dusty, nothing's right. Only the wagon master's hand keeps them a rolling to the promised land. All oh, the going gets mighty rough, but they don't seem to mind. It's California, A, hey, that's the place they must find. Deserts and rocks are in their way, but they won't stop, come what may. Mountains and hills that they must scale, but they know they'll make it cause they just can't fail on Dusty's trail. Who's that on Mr. Callahan's horse? Why heavens, it's a young girl. And a pretty one at that. Well, he said he was going scouting. He just didn't tell us what for. Well, hi, everybody. This here's Miss Priscilla. How, do you How are you? Guess what? She's a witch. Dusty. <laughs> More coffee, Priscilla? Thank you. Where are you from, young lady? A little town called Hard Luck. Hard Luck? <laughs> what a peculiar name for a town. They named it that after I got there. I'm afraid I don't quite understand that. When I came to town, everything went wrong. A barn burned down, a well went dry, a cow stopped giving milk, and then there were other things. What kinds of other things? Look out! Things like this. <laughs> Mrs. Brookhaven, I'm glad that tree didn't fall on you and your husband. Oh, thank you very much, my dear, for sparing us. Please, I didn't make that tree fall. We believe you, Priscilla. I'm glad. I'm so used to being blamed for everything. Well, honey, we don't believe in witches around here. Confidentially, if you've got a frog that'll turn into a prince, I'll be glad to kiss him. Confidentially, I'd kiss him myself. <laughs> what can we do to help you? All I want is a ride to the next town, where I can start over. And where people don't know you're a witch. Please, I can't bear to hear that word witch anymore. Oh, I do understand, my dear. Mr. Brookhaven and I are from... Uh, Boston? Near Salem? So we know one or two things about, uh, you know what. Ah! I promised you wouldn't do that anymore. What's the matter with you, Dusty? Something smells funny. 
dinner smells fine. So do you. Well, thanks a lot. Pardon me. Dusty, what are you doing? Following the trail. I feel like a regular bloodhound. Well, stay away from the trees. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Why are you sniffing at my wife? <laughs> hey, I found it, Mr. Callahan. Dusty, what are you doing? I could smell something from way over there. It smelled like garlic. Brookhaven eating garlic? Carter. Just wearing it, my dear. Just wearing it. Something they do back in Salem to ward off an evil spirit. Ah, oh, that's a silly superstition. Is that a false, silly, true superstition or a true, false? Oh, we had enough of this nonsense. What we've got to do is find a pass to get through those mountains. And we all have faith in you, Mr. Callahan. Well, you better have a little faith in Priscilla, too. She couldn't cast a spell on anybody. Now, let's finish our dinner. You in there, Mr. Callahan? Well, who did you expect? <laughs> the state! We warned you, Mr. Callahan. If I'm any judge of witches, there's more to come. Cal, are you all right? Oh, just a little accident. <laughs> now, there's no point in joking about it, Mr. Callahan. Priscilla cast a spell over you. Anyway, it sure is a nice night tonight. Go ahead. Blame me. Blame me for that, too. Come back, Priscilla. It wasn't your fault. Yeah, it could happen even if you weren't a witch. That was a coincidence. Just a coincidence. Wasn't it? Of course it was. We've all seen lightning and thunder before. But not right after I said it. Isn't it a nice night? <laughs> now listen, everybody. I don't want to hear any more talk about Priscilla casting spells. I just think we've all been very unfair with her, that's all. Seems to me she's a fine girl. That goes for me, too. I don't want anybody blaming her for what goes on around here. That goes for me, too. I'll tell you what I'm going to do about it right now. That goes for me, too. What are you going to do that goes for me, too? I'm going to go out and find her and bring her back. Me, too? You, too. Uh, <coughs> Priscilla, we Don't just trouble wanted... yourself any further, Mr. Callahan. I know what you're going to say. She can read your mind. Best you please. Uh, I won't bother you and your friends any longer. I'm leaving. No, no, wrong. That's not what I was going to say. All I wanted to say was that I want to apologize for all of us. Nobody meant any harm. We are all a little uh, tired and nervous. This has been a long, tough trip. Now, you've got a place in this wagon train until we get to the next town. But except for you, no one else wants me along. I do. See, I am the wagon master, and you, like everybody else, do what I say. Is that clear? All right. No more about it. Come on. a witch? Well, there's been some strange things happening since she got here. Maybe. But Dusty does strange things, and we never accuse him of witchcraft. Dusty wouldn't know which end of a broomstick to ride. <laughs> Priscilla, now she's something else again. Well, 
I don't think Priscilla's a witch. I don't even believe there is such a thing as a witch. So how could Priscilla be a witch? She can't, that's all. Who are you trying to convince, me or you? Me. <laughs> Once a witch has found out, she has no other choice. Good heavens, I just thought of something. What? What kind of a curse did she leave on us? If she can make a town change its name to hard luck, she can do the same to us. Hogwash. Rattlesnake! <laughs> Rotten luck. Hard luck. Well, if anybody wants any more flapjacks, you better speak up now. They're going real fast. How about you, old partner? You like an old flapjack? Oh, don't mind if I do. <laughs> What's all right, Dusty? It's nothing serious. We're all cursed, I tell you. Obviously, it was Priscilla that burnt Dusty. Priscilla did not burn Dusty's hand, Mrs. Brookhaven. He burned his own stupid hand. Yeah, I don't have to be cursed to burn my own stupid hand. <laughs> but it was Priscilla's spirit that guided his hand. Mrs. Brookhaven, it's that kind of talk that caused Priscilla to run away. Now, we have no proof that Priscilla has done anything. Mr. Callahan's right. Yeah. We're beginning to talk like those superstitious townspeople. Except we're superstitious wagon people. <laughs> Accidents that she caused. Priscilla didn't cause any accidents. We did. We started having accidents out of plain nervousness. Right. Priscilla wouldn't hurt any of us, and that's a fact. Of course it was an accident. Dusty couldn't do that again if he tried a million times. Right, Dusty? Right. Except I put it right there on the board, right about, about here a million times. But never mind, <laughs> and never mind. I, I agree with Mr. Callahan. Now, you know, we've been pretty rough on Priscilla for no real reason. She could be having a rough time out there in the wilderness by herself. You're right. This is rough country. Come on, Dusty. You and I are going to go find her. Priscilla! Priscilla! Will you save your voice? You couldn't have gotten this far on foot. Huh. How about a broom? Will you stop that? Now you just keep saying to yourself, Priscilla's not a witch. Priscilla's not a witch. Priscilla's not a witch. There's a big storm coming up. We've got to find some shelter. Hey, there's a cave back there. Come on. Well, at least it's warm and dry up here. Look at those funny birds. They're all hanging upside down. Those are not birds, Rusty. They're not? No. Oh. Bats always hang upside down. Oh. Bats! 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 Double, double, toil and rubble. Remove our curse, remove our trouble. Very good, my dear. <laughs> now, once more to make sure. Double, double, toil and rubble. Remove our curse, remove our trouble. <laughs> Oh, at a girl, Mrs. B. Oh, thank you, Lulu. Mr. Callahan and Andy said all that talk about witchcraft was nonsense. Uh, yes, of course it is, but uh, it doesn't do any harm to hedge a bet. <laughs> Let me have a crack at that, Mrs. B. Oh, with pleasure, Lulu. Thank you. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay. Curses, curses, go away. Come again, but not our way. Get the message? <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Would you like to try it? I don't believe in curses or witchcraft. Oh. <laughs> but then again, 
You never really know. <laughs> curses, curses, in which I don't believe. Real or not, uh, I wish you'd leave. <laughs> Look at that. A tree root growing right down from the earth, right to here. It can't be a tree root, Dusty. Why not? Because there's one growing up from the other end. Uh, maybe it's an icicle. Oh, it's too warm in here for an icicle. Warmsicle? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. We've got to find a way out of here. Why don't we go out the way we came in? That's what we've been looking for, remember? That's what I told you. That's where I heard it before. <laughs> hey. There's a little piece of light. Maybe there's a way out on the other side. Yeah, but what if we get lost on the other side? What difference does it make which side we're lost on? Go ahead. <laughs> oh, Mr. Callahan? There's another cave over here. Yeah. I'm stuck. Try to wiggle. If I could wiggle, I wouldn't be stuck. I'll wiggle you. Oh. Did you feel something wiggle? Yeah, my arms. They almost came out of their sockets. <laughs> oh. Well, maybe if I push instead of pull, it might work. I'll be push right back. instead of pull? What are you talking about? <laughs> Found you. How'd you get back there? Caves connect. Well, if you knew that, why did you have me crawl through this hole? Because you said, see the little teeny light there, and then you just got crawl through. Yeah. Hey, you knucklehead! These walls are made out of rocks, and I'm made out of skin. Now, take it easy. Maybe I can do better from the other side. Yeah. Still here, huh? <laughs> yeah, enough of that. You know, you kind of look like a turtle with his head stuck out of the shell. <laughs> Don't get me out of here. I'm going to turtle you. Boy, you really are stuck. I don't care how you do it, Dusty, but get me out of here. Don't go away. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Callahan. This is going to hurt you a lot more than it hurts me. <laughs> I got you unstuck. Yeah, yeah. There, hold that. This cave is full of tunnels. We'll rope ourselves together. That way we won't get lost. Let's go. What's that? What? Hey, Dusty, where are you? Yeah. Hey, what are you trying to do, burn me alive? Well, well say something. Oh. Right? Oh. Oh. Listen, can't we just cut the rope, huh? Not until we find our way out of here. Come on. <laughs> Priscilla, are you all right? Why, yes, I'm all right. We were worried about you. Worried? What have you done with our wagon master? I'm with Dusty. What did I do with them? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They went out looking for you several hours ago. They did. Yeah, we were all afraid something might have happened to you. Have you seen them? 
No. Which way do they go? Well, they thought you might have headed for the mountains. You know, they might have taken shelter from the storm. I hope they didn't go into Dead Man's Cave. <gasps> Dead Man's Cave? Does the name mean what it implies? <laughs> People who don't know the caves can never find their way out. Good heavens. All right, now look. I want all of you to stay near the coach until I get back. And don't wander away. We don't want to lose anybody else. I'm going with Priscilla. Come on, Priscilla. Priscilla? She's gone. Another passage leading to a dead end. Hey, what are you writing on the wall? My will. What? Ah, oh, you can't see what you're getting. Hey! Rocks falling and bats and yeah. stuff. Help! Oh, oh, I, I, help, 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 Priscilla! Uh, Thank heavens I found you. Follow me out of here. Yeah. Follow you? I've been through these caves before. Please, have faith in me. It's very important. Dusty little pal, we are going to follow her. She knows the way out of here. We're huh? going to follow her because she knows the way out of here. Yeah. <laughs> You sure you want to go back, Priscilla? Yes, hard luck. I wish you wouldn't leave us. I mean, you know, since you saved our lives, we don't think you're a witch. Your faith in me has given me faith in myself again. And I must prove it to them. Thank you. Yeah. There you go. Know. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Callahan. Yeah. Are you sure she's not a witch? Since she kissed me, I got this kind of strange feeling. It's not because she's a witch, Dusty. That's because she's a girl. <laughs> hey, wagons! Hello! Come on, boys. Oh, no. Now, why did we have to be cursed with that? I thought you told me you didn't believe in curses. I don't, except one, you. You forgot to put the lock nut on the axle. Maybe there's a curse on Dusty now. Maybe there is. Do you really think so? Uh, come here, will you? Uh, go get the jack. Uh, I'll take care of the wheel. Go. No. We'll just... 